During the meeting, I explained that the company must create a culture of zero tolerance for sexual exploitation and abuse. This includes minimum standards of conduct expected and disciplinary action for misconduct. Lena mentioned that this would also include making sure that our hiring practices prohibit and prevent sexual exploitation and abuse, and that the standards of conduct are integrated in our performance management system. She explained that disciplinary measures must be established and responsibilities reflected in role and job descriptions. Econ then made a valid point that the standards should be communicated to all personnel, partners, and other stakeholders. And Hassan added that induction and recurrent training must be provided to all staff to raise awareness of the standards of conduct, the company's commitments, personal obligations, and mechanisms that address abuses. That's when Kamal jumped in and said that we also need to make sure we periodically identify risks of sexual exploitation and abuse, as well as gender-based violence on site and provide measures to prevent them. Chris then responded that he will provide advice and support to those who have questions about the standards of conduct on sexual exploitation and abuse, or would like to report any misconduct. He explained that he would have overall responsibility to identify any risks of sexual exploitation and abuse. My final point in the meeting was that we need to respond in a timely and effective manner to any incidents. After all, safety of our staff and other stakeholders, as well as the reputation of the company, depend on it. We all agreed that we're going to meet regularly and monitor our progress.